everyone welcome to the science stuff today we are going to be learning about the phylum nematoda which is a part of the large kingdom animalia so what are some salient features of this phylum well let's find out this phylum is also known as phylum askelminthes and phylum nematelminthes nematodes are aquatic terrestrial or parasitic forms commonly called roundworms when they are aquatic they can be both freshwater or marine these animals are bilaterally symmetrical and triploblastic now what do we mean by bilaterally symmetrical we mean that this will be the approximate line of symmetry by triploblastic we mean that they have all the three germ layers endoderm ectoderm and mesoderm nematodes are unsegmented and pseudocoelomate animals now what is a pseudocoelomate animal a pseudocoelomate is an organism with a body cavity that is not derived from the mesoderm as in a true coelom you can see in this diagram here These worms bodies are elongated, cylindrical, slender and tapering at two ends as you can see here. Their body has a thick cuticle. The cuticle is the outer layer or part of an organism that comes in contact with the environment. These worms have a complete digestive tract having a straight alimentary canal with the mouth and the anus. Here this is the mouth and this is the anus. Circulatory and respiratory systems are absent. Gaseous exchange occurs through the diffusion of the general body surface. Excretion occurs by protonephridium with canals. A protonephridium is a network of dead end tubules lacking internal openings. These organisms reproduce sexually and the sexes are separate. And fertilization is internal. A male nematode is usually slightly smaller than the female nematode. Here you can see the difference between a female and a male nematode. Animals in this phylum are generally parasitic and cause diseases. A few are however free living in soil or water. A good example of a parasitic worm is Ascaris. Ascaris worms can cause a disease called ascariasis that can obstruct the intestines. Now, let's look at some good examples of nematodes. First, we have Ascaris, the roundworm, as you can see here. Then, we have Enterobius or the pinworm. There's also Ankylostoma or the hookworm and Wuchereria the filarial worm Thank you for watching this video please like share and subscribe and comment down below on the topic you would like me to do next and remember you're watching the science stuff